Hello, in this video we will talk about coding standards and guidelines. So, first of all, let's take a look on some facts. From 40 to 80% of lifetime cost of software goes to maintenance. So why is it? Because developing it took just some period of time and after that we leave this project for maintenance and support time because of stage of development was finished and uh, there will be using and uh, sometimes there will be some bugs it should be fixed and uh, also there will be some changes should be implemented and uh, mostly this time goes to maintenance and uh, what's the most important is that um, a code author the person who created this code he rarely maintains this code for lifetime of the product so for example if some big project is in development five four years developer who created a part of code he or she may work on this project just a couple of years and then this project project goes to another developer in this case we do not know how this developer will work with it how he will create this code and um, what will be done in the future. So, cost of bugs grows during a post-implementation and maintenance stages because of uh, they don't know why this code was created in this way. So, style guide can help us because of style guide describes uh, how we should create this code, what the pros or cons and uh, we know how it looks in the future. So without coding standards, maintenance becomes more expensive because of we need additional time to understand the code, how it was, how it was created. Let's take a look on the goals and motivations for coding standards. Why do we need it? And the first of all is enhancing code clarity. We need to create code. It should be good for developers. It's good for read. As mostly of the time we maintain the code, we read this code, so it should be great from reading perspective. We need to read and understand what was inside this code, why we implemented this code in this way, and um, it helps us to reduce a number of risks in software development and um, reduce complexity of a code. And uh, in future, it will help us. It will help to reduce the time for maintenance and implementing some changes or fixing bugs. That's why we are going to create the code which will be easy to support in maintainability and we can change it in the future. So we know why do we need the coding standards, what's the benefits of these coding standards. So let's take a look on what is coding standard. So coding standard components it's just a document, so your team, based on each team member experience, can sit or, or organize a meeting and decide how do they going to create this code, what they want to do and what they want to avoid or skip during development, or that maybe there are some already prepared code guidelines in your project or in your company and you can follow these already prepared guidelines. There may be different uh, options, but you, you will choose for your team, for your project, what do you want to do. Also, in this code standard, you can, info you can declare what you're going to do, how are you going to follow code review process, or are you going to use uh, peer programming, or what tools are you going to use. For example, you can define that um, in your project you are going to use Sonar Cube for checking your code and then define all rules you want to follow in the, for this tool, for SonarCube, and it will automatically check all your code during on automatic code analysis stage. Talking about the coding standards, we can uh, split it into two groups. It's the style guide and the code convention. So what is style guide concerns? What do we need to to remember about when we're talking about style guide. Style guide, guide is mostly your layout of source code, how you organize your code from visual perspective. For example, indentions between code blocks, is it two spaces, four spaces, or you're using tabs? Or for example, for constants, are you using capital cases or another cases? How you organize the names of your classes? Is it uppercase or no? Everything is, is, is described in style guide. Con convention from the other point of view is how you organize your project in general. For example, how you organize your file structure? How you, do you use some programming principles and practices in your project? 
do you have some recommendations from your team or from your project or from your, your company what uh, principles you are using for the whole company in each team or you can use some specific tools or practices specifically for your project and also architectural best practices what should be used on your project and what you should avoid why is important because of mostly development in a team it's a communication because you talk with another developers who created a part of a code or some functionality and sometimes this developer doesn't remember why it was created what was intention inside this code and when you create your guideline and try to create your code during this guideline it will create some clues some hints of what was under this function why it was created in this way and not in another way so everything is described in, in one way and it helps for each developer in your team understand some principles how it was implemented and why it was implemented in this way in the same time it makes less errors or at least uh, makes some errors obvious because of you following some rules and uh, some general errors can be skipped just because of there already are no other known issues or known errors and can be avoided because of this knowledge which is described in your code style or code convention.